have a teacher exchange between Oklahoma teachers and Ohio teachers, and they were indicating that um, Ohio studies uh, Native Americans in the elementary grades, and they stop when the Indians were removed from Ohio. In Oklahoma, they don't start the lessons until eighth grade, and they start their history with when they arrived and from that point forward. We're trying to connect those two stories. As a teacher, it's really hard to teach outside of what is expected of you because you're gonna be tested on those things, and we're very test-driven. But where we live, especially, um, we have uh, nine federally recognized tribes in our area, which is the most um, nationally. So it's really important that our students know about their heritage. I mean, for instance, we I'm Cherokee, and I know nothing other than that I have an Indian card and I can go to an Indian clinic and I can get certain things because of being Indian, but I know nothing about the history because I've just always been Cherokee. And it, it wasn't important to me to know until I started seeing some of it. And then it, you, you do become passionate about it. I think to come here and see that this is where the Native Americans were before that they were in Oklahoma, you have to see it to be passionate about it. We had a chance to meet when um, our group went down to Oklahoma back in March, and we got to meet with the chief and, and, uh, and do a little bit of work with her um, and actually get to go to some social gatherings with her. So uh, we've created a great relationship. So um, there's a definitely a personal connection there, and then to get that personal connection and be here with her to experience this and to feel this with her and to go through it with her means makes this so much more of a meaningful experience. Uh, my hope is for the program is that we get a new curriculum in Ohio and Oklahoma. Um, that lawmakers see that this is important and that students, uh, students in the future learn uh, this important history of Native Americans in Ohio and Oklahoma. We have so much work to do to inform the people in Oklahoma, the people in Ohio, so that they can hear for themselves that this isn't a dream of Chief Glenna Wallace. This is a need of the entire United States. And it's a first step. Uh, hopefully there are many more steps, but it's a step that must be taken and is so important that we are taking it and it's exciting to be part of it.